Welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. We're of course at the ITU headquarters and I'm really pleased here now to have someone who's actually the XPRIZE Foundation, one of the Board of Directors members. And if I get your pronunciation of your name right, it's Anshe Ansari. Yes. I hope uh, that was okay. Perfect. <laughs> it's great to have you. Um, you. We've seen some of the exhibitions going on there, some of the ones who are looking for the sponsorship from you um, yes. down the road. Uh, what, why are you sponsoring something like this? Well, for us, AI for Good Summit, it's a very good place to start a conversation around AI and exponential technologies. Um, artificial intelligence is something that scares most people because of all the uh, science fiction movies that we've seen how the robot turned crazy and uh, ended up you know, doing more damage than good. Uh, but there's a lot of great potential for solving problems uh, through using artificial intelligence. And we wanted to highlight that, but also so we're cognizant of all the other issues involved with AI. So we wanted to bring stakeholders from different backgrounds, different countries, from academia, from private sector, from NGOs together to sit down and discuss some of these issues and find the best use of AI that will benefit humanity. Uh, of course, some of our audience may not know that you're an astronaut yourself. You went up into space on the Russian Space Center and you know what happened when Hal wasn't happy. <laughs> yes, exactly. No, we, you know, I've watched Star Trek growing up and uh, all the sci-fi movies and that's one of the areas you see a lot of technology sometimes turns for good and sometimes for bad. Um, and being able to go to space uh, has given me this really wonderful perspective of our world and how interconnected we are and how the safety and security and um, our, our lives depend on each other and working together as one unit, as the humankind living on this planet. And that's why it's important for me to see these types of communication amongst different uh, organizations and globally to be able to use these exponential technologies to do something good, to solve our pro problems, because frankly, we have big problems and it impacts us all. Since last year, in terms of XPRIZE's involvement here, what's changed, do you think, the atmosphere, what's changed on, on, on the whole debate? Well, uh, last year was the first time we were doing this, so we didn't know if people would come back, if this was interesting to them. And what we've seen is we have a lot of new players that have come to the table, they heard great things about it. Uh, we are taking it from just a dialogue to action and we're challenging different groups to come up with uh, actual projects that they will deliver on and uh, we're trying to um, create a community of collaborators that will pick a problem and try to solve it. So we've seen a lot of great activities. We have team members that are demonstrating some of their work that they've done since last year. So it's very exciting to see how it has evolved and hopefully will continue to evolve. And the UN goals of sustainable development, they really fit with yours? Absolutely. I think the, um, you know, the 17 SDGs frame some of our biggest challenges and that's what we're trying to do at XPRIZE to address many of those issues. And a lot of our prizes doesn't focus on just one problem, but it addresses many of the issues highlighted by the SDGs. So definitely I think what we're doing here is focusing on the SDGs with AI makes perfect sense. Just tell me a little bit about this new avatar you're rolling out. So one of the, our newest uh, X prizes is ANA Avatar X Prize, and what we envision with this prize is to create collaboration between different types of technologies, sensing technologies, robotic technologies, and AI together, which allows for uh, basically transportation of someone's consciousness um, as if you're physically in some other location and uh, being able to do tasks that um, you know you would do if you were physically over there and uh, this can have many different uses uh, it can allow for uh, us to be able to go to environments that are ha hazardous for a human being to be there but that you can make a big difference whether it's a radioactive environment or um, you know a firefighter trying to go save someone in a burning building um, or uh, you know to use it as a teaching tool um, to be able to allow people who have disabilities to do things that they may not be able to do physically 
safely, to allow people to go to places where humans can't go easily. Um, it can be used in space exploration, of course, um, one of my uh, you know most important uh, you know passions. Um, so it can be used in many different ways, but uh, most importantly, there are several technological challenges that has to be solved, and um, our prize is tuned to help bring focus to those issues and solve them through this Avatar X Prize. That sounds fascinating. Hopefully we'll have you back to tell us more about that next time. I hope so. Ms. Ansari from the X Prize Foundation, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.